Hi and welcome to this lesson where we are doing an introduction to exponents. Now in this lesson all I want to do is give you a basic uh, understanding and maybe go through a few examples of what exponents actually mean or at least the way I understand it and um, it makes quite good sense to me. So an exponent is something that appears as a superscript to a number. So we'll have a number that would be called the base. Okay, so there's my base and then the exponent appears as a superscript exponent appears there now in front of the base there's always something there's at least a one if nothing appears there there's at least a one but uh, in general let's just call that the coefficient and I know I write this so often but I never know how to spell it so I hope it's right okay the coefficient times the base and an exponent. Now this this part here, the base and exponent pair, I'll call it the base and exponent pair together, that is called a power. Okay, so these are just some of the words that we are going to use. But what does it mean? And just to shorten everything, let's write it as C being the coefficient times B the base and to the power of E. What does this expression mean? Well I like to think of it as c is multiplied is multiplied with b e times now that sounds really weird i'm sure c is multiplied with b e times but let's use numbers and you'll see oh, okay it's not that bad so let's say we have 3 times 2 to the power of 4 and then I write that in a sentence and then you see C is multiplied with B E times the coefficient is multiplied with the base exponent many times so 3 is multiplied C is, 3 is multiplied with 2 4 times Okay, so let's write that out mathematically. This is now in English. In math language, that is 3 is multiplied with 2 four times. So with 2 again, again, and again. Okay, and now I simply do that problem. This is 3 times 2 times 2 times 2. 3 times 2 is 6 times 2 is 12 times 2 is 24 times 2 is 48. So this answer simplified. To, a, to an exact value is 48 and that's how you could do it. Now you might have said well 2 to the power of 4 is 16 so this is 3 times 16 which is 48. There's obviously many ways of doing this. The reason why I like this way is because sometimes my exponent is a negative. Okay so and when it's a negative this sentence changes a bit. Okay so here we are assuming that e is greater than 0. It's positive. Now what if e is less than 0? So let's look at e less than 0. Then my sentence changes to c is divided by b e times. Okay. So let me use something like um, 36 times 3 to the power of 2. Negative 2. Negative 2. Okay. So according to this, C is the coefficient before the, the power or the base and exponent pair. Okay. Is divided by the base. So 36 is divided by the base, that's 3, so divided by 3, and it's divided by the base e times. In other words, the number of times, I should actually not say e times because e should, should now has a negative. I mean that 2 part. Okay, e times is now divided twice. So now I divide with a 3, and when I divide with 3 again, I just multiply the denominator again. So I'm dividing with 3, or I could have written it like this. 36 is divided by 3 twice, okay, which in the end comes down to this, okay, 
or I could and and from here I just know oh that's 36 divided by 9 is equal to 4 okay so this answer is equal to 4 so here negative exponents makes a little bit more sense to me by understanding this expression as c times b to the power of e is c is multiplied with b so many times or c is divided by b so many times depending whether e is positive or negative okay so i'm going to stop this video right here and in the next video we'll look at something called the multiplicative inverse which is actually uh, just another way of uh, using negative exponents i'll see you in that lesson enjoy